house 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 Alright family, quick little update. I got Walter on the concrete now, make it a little bit easier to work on. Um, I ain't got time to do it today, it's getting late and it looks like it's about to rain honestly. But um, yeah, it's moved to where I can work on it a little bit better now. Uh, as you seen in the last video, we uh, changed out the brake master cylinder and the uh, brake booster. So that's new which is leaking because look or matter of fact it might have been that low from me bleeding it so I need to check because I didn't check it after I got done bleeding it both sides are low though so either something's leaking which nothing's wet there so it doesn't look like it's leaking so I'm assuming it was just low like that from when I was bleeding it but um yeah Hopefully, I'll get to work on it again in a day or so, and uh, I'll see if I can get those brakes bled and see if that brake master cylinder is going to fix it. I also got an unboxing to do. I got some goodies for this today, so stay tuned in, and uh, we're going to do some unboxings as soon as I get where I'm going. Let's get it. YouTube, what's good, fam? All right, now. So, I got a little minute. I want to give y'all a quick update. Shout out to my boy, Chevy Addict. He always look out. Y'all already know. He done sent me another gift pack right here. Much love to you, bro. I appreciate it. And, bro, if you can tell, the post office done got me, bro. They done fucked my shit up. You see that? Look, look, bro. Yeah, it's bent, bro. It's bent. I, didn't, I just want you to see this. It's straight coming out the package like this. I I ain't even took it out yet. I cut the side of the bag before I turned the camera on only because I don't have my small stand to hold and I knew I would need two hands. So I cut the side of the bag and then I cut this package. But yeah, it's obviously bent, bro. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we will go ahead and pull that out. Like I said, shout out to my boy Chevy Attic. If y'all ain't already subscribed to my boy, go ahead and subscribe to my boy. He good people. And that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? It don't cost you nothing to subscribe. So, subscribe to my boy. I would deeply appreciate it. Thank you again, Kevin, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Look at my shit, bro. <laughs> Damn it, boy. They done fuck my shit up, man. Fuck the post office, man. Between bringing packages late and it, packages showing up like this, this is crazy. Look at how good, bro, packaged this shit. I'm talking about it's in the bubble wrap, bro, wrapped it, and then plus it's in the Bible wrap pack. You know what I'm saying? These dickheads done bent my shit. You feel me? Like, that's lame as fuck, man. Thank you, bro, for doing such a good job packaging it, bro. I don't know what's up with these post office people, bro. Like, for real. You packaged it good, bro. I'm not I'm not mad at you, bro. I'm 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 heated because my shit bent like this, but I know that ain't your fault, bro. Trust me, I know. So don't take it the wrong way, because this ain't towards you. This towards the post office people. God boy, look how bad it's bent, bro. Fucking post office, man. Oh, man. That shit got me hot, bro. <laughs> For real. <sighs> Look at how fire that is. Yeah. Y'all see that? Yeah. Much love, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah. Not Walter. Mr. Motherfucking Walter. Yeah. Bro, I'm going to put the one that you damn did me the first time on the front, and then I'm going to put this one on the back. So a motherfucker know when I tear their ass up, it's Mr. Walter to them. Yeah. 
I appreciate that shit, bro. Much love, bro. Appreciate it. Damn, bro. Thank you. I'm going to have to bend it back out, man. I hope it don't... hope it don't... Uh, distort it or anything. Uh, I'm trying not to crease it, y'all. I'm trying to bend it back without creasing it. I think that's the closest I can get it without creasing it all to hell, man. It look a little bit better, man. Shit, it's better than it was. Damn, I can't believe it. Look at that shit, man. It looked better than it was, man. Shout out again to my boy Chevy Attic. If you ain't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're looking for some custom tags, go ahead and hit him up. He can make any design you want. And that shit gonna show up fire. I can't guarantee if your post office man gonna be a dickhead like mine and, and tuck your shit, tear your shit up. But obviously, you can see my boy packaged it good. They usually make it here fine because uh, my boy done sent me like four or five tags and ain't none of them ever showed up like this but this one. So your shit should be perfectly fine as long as your Mr. Postman ain't a dickhead. But shout out to my boy, man. I appreciate you, Chevy. Thank you, bro. Now, let's get to the next thing. This is something else that I got for Walter. We've been needing this the whole time. So hopefully this fix our problem. I've cut that bag so I didn't have to try to do this with one hand. I didn't even pay attention to the box. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, we got it, bet. I ain't know if it's gonna be able to get it. We got it. So you that have been watching you guys know I had got the uh, quick release steering wheel uh, kit and the, uh, the new steering wheel and when I did that the nut stuck up in the middle to where it won't go flush so this is what I got to fix that it's supposed to be deeper to give the nut more room at the top so, just so you can see what I'm talking about, as you see that, it's not flush, it's a crack between here and there, that's supposed to be flush, it's barely on there on a couple threads, I did that so I can still move the truck around, but as you can see, this one is that much bigger, so it should allow plenty of room for the nut, and it should be able to go on there flat like it's supposed to be, or flush like it's supposed to be. So, yeah, that's the project. Uh, I don't have my small stand. I still haven't found it. The only one I have is my big one. And it won't exactly position good to where you can see what I'm doing. So I'm not about to waste my time to do that. So I'm going to fade back in whenever I get this pulled off and I get this swapped out or whatever and, and let y'all see how it turned out. So stay tuned in, like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in a quick release setup or this nice steering wheel, which I got from Timu, the steering wheel was only 24 bucks. It's pretty nice. This quick release kit was only like 18 bucks, I want to say, which is also pretty nice. So yeah, see, look, this screw's all the way back. Look, you see how loose that is? It's barely on there. All right, family. I don't know why the camera cut off, but quick update. The spacer is on. It fit. As you can see, there's no gap now. All the screws tightened up. So that problem is fixed. So on to the next problem. I discovered no matter what I do, this bleeder screw, I thought it was tight, but the bleeder screw was still leaking. No matter how tight you tightened it, it was still leaking. So it's either stripped out or it's the wrong size. I don't know how it can be the wrong size. It's the one that was already on it and it's always been on it. So I don't know what's up with that, but 
the the bleeder screw will not tighten no matter what you do with it it didn't look like there's a problem with it really see it's nasty but yeah that's the bleeder screw but no matter what it kept leaking so i'm about to pull this wheel off and for you that's been riding with me for a while you know i bought all brand new wheel cylinders and uh hardware for for all four corners so i'm gonna pull this wheel off and take it apart or whatever and uh change the wheel cylinder because that bleeder screw screws into the wheel cylinder so if i put a brand new wheel cylinder in there i'll have a brand new bleeder screw and it should fix the problem so i just jacked it up i'm about to pull this wheel off pull the hub off and uh see if i can't figure out how to get the wheel cylinder out and uh change the wheel cylinder so stay tuned in like share and subscribe we're gonna see again if we can get the brakes working on walter um the master cylinder seems to be working like i said before last time i was uh trying to bleed it it wouldn't pump all the way up and i'm assuming this is why because this thing was leaking the whole time on this corner so it would keep losing pressure on this corner so in theory after i change this this should seal up the brake system to where it can't lose pressure and it should work just fine also in theory I may have been a dumbass and this thing might have been leaking like this the whole time and I might have did not need to change the brake booster and all that crap in the first place but at the same time they say whenever you run a turbo your engine don't have any vacuum and you have to run manual brakes instead of power brakes anyway so either way it goes I was probably had to change it to manual brakes anyway in the future so it's done already now so yeah i'm rambling stay tuned in like share and subscribe let's get this thing get get this thing going let's go all right youtube so as you can see i got the new wheel cylinder in there i got everything put back together um I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't pull it all the way back apart. If you're wondering why I didn't put all new parts back in there, because I do have all new parts, it's because I didn't pull it all the way apart because I don't feel like trying to be bothered with all of that going on in there. I don't have the patience for that today. So honestly, only thing I did was take this spring off and take that spring off and then I loosened this one or whatever, pulled it off and pulled the brake shoe out that way or whatever, enough to get this out and put the new one back in or whatever. And then I just slid that back together or whatever. I didn't even unhook the spring and stuff from the bottom down there. So this right here, this piece right here stayed intact. It was just, it was free at the top but still connected at the bottom so none of this stuff even come apart and um i squeezed that cylinder in there and got it all back together and then i just lined these pieces up right here on the little grooves where they go on both sides right there and pop the springs back on and then push this back on right here to hold it all to the drum uh, assembly or whatever you call it and that was it like that that's all i did so <laughs> the new cylinder is in all i gotta do is tighten down the brake line and um try to get some fluid in it and see if it leaks uh it's got a brand new uh one of these this is one for the front side i got them mixed up i didn't know the difference because all the boxes look the same but um that's a brand new one too also but it's for the front but anyway uh as you can see this thing is screwed see the threads on this is still good but if you can see down in there, the threads are fucked. Like you can barely see there were threads. See, look, you see that? You see it slide in there? It literally just slid in there without twisting it. Look, watch this. So yeah, the threads are fucked on that. But yeah, we got a new one on, so stay tuned in. 
I'm gonna try to get these lines tightened up and try to pour some more brake fluid in it. Uh, I don't know how much brake fluid I got left. Hopefully it's enough. If not, I'm gonna have to get some more brake fluid when I come back over here again. So stay tuned in, let's get it. YouTube, what's good family? So, let me see how you can see that. Can y'all see that? Not really. Well, I changed that wheel cylinder. I tighten all that stuff up. It doesn't seem to have any leaks. I know you're supposed to start at the farthest corner and uh, do the bleeding. Well, just for experimental purposes, instead of starting on that back corner, which would be the farthest corner, I started on this corner with the bleeding. Um, a, I wanted to keep that dry just to make sure I didn't have any leaks. So I didn't want to start bleeding it there and, and leak it all over there and not be able to tell if it leaked or not. So that's the main reason why I did that. But um, I bled it from this corner so far and that's it. And uh, so far we have brakes. As you see, it's not going all the way to the floor now. And I can feel the resistance. And it, see, it pumps up harder and it's not collapsing. Before, it would pump up and it would slowly collapse as you hold it. But you see, I'm holding it and it's not going down. So it definitely needs some more bleeding, of course, but I don't have any more brake fluid. <laughs> I poured all the brake fluid that I had in there and as you see it's empty so I ain't gonna do any more bleeding, bleeding right now but as of right now the brakes work so next time I come down here I'm gonna press on the brake pedal and see if I got any brakes and I'm gonna check the reservoir and see if it's low if the reservoir isn't low that mean I got all the leaks fixed and after I bleed the brakes everything should be good because I already did all the new lines and uh, now I'm going to change the master cylinder all that stuff so everything should be good so like I said as of right now it has brakes and it doesn't seem to be leaking anywhere as you can see all this is dry nothing nothing's wet you know what I mean nothing nothing's wet so it should be good all that's dry. Uh, uh, all this down here is also dry. Let me get a hand on it just so I can make sure. Yeah. All this is dry. So there's no leak anywhere as of right now. So when I come back, if the reservoir is still at the same level that it was when I left, and as long as I press the brakes and they still got pedal, we should be good. I should be able to fill the reservoir up. Uh, bleed the rest of the air out of it fill it up again and the brake should be fixed so hopefully hopefully we got that problem fixed and Walter is well on his way because we have brakes now we don't have to worry about a steering wheel falling off now so yeah those were two of the main big things that needed to be taken care of the next main big thing is uh, the radiator because uh, you got to have a radiator to keep it cool. The radiator and the water pump pulley. Uh, I think I got the water pump pulley that fits this. I just haven't had time to try it. But I did get another water pump pulley already. It's over there on the back of my truck. So hopefully that water pump pulley will work out. And that will be that problem taken care of. And the only problem we have to worry about is the radiator. Once we get that radiator fixed and we get that water pump pulley on there, then A, it should be able to cycle the coolant system and stay cool. And B, we got brakes, so we should be able to ride. So stay tuned in, like, share, and subscribe. With any luck, we're going to get some kind of test drive on the next video. And if it's not directly the next video, video it should be within the next two or three videos we should get a test drive on this thing and get to play around because i do got to get tires so stay tuned in like share and subscribe 
thank you guys for sticking in there. Um, I'm trying my best, you guys. I, I'm trying to put out these fires as fast as they are starting. Um, I'm trying to fix all the problems that I find as fast as I can, but every problem that I find, I have to buy parts for. Parts ain't free, and a lot of times the parts are hard to find. So it ain't just I can't afford them. Sometimes I can't afford them and I can't find them. So just stay tuned in and hang in there with me, you guys. I want to drive this truck more than you want to see me drive this truck. So trust and believe if there's any way that I can get anything done any faster, I'm already on it. So stay tuned in. Let's get it. Thank you, guys.